Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. Yesterday was a good day at the, on the stock markets. Investors got back into risk after um, the FBI cleared the way for um, Hillary Clinton um, in their investigations about their email, uh, about the email scandal. That has increased the chances, uh, so people interpreted that news, increased the chances of Hillary Clinton really um, actually making it to the White House. Before that yesterday, before yesterday, so every day until Friday, has been a very bad day. So in seven trading days up until Friday of last week, in seven out of nine days, we had so-called distribution days. So with every day, um, uh, so we had nine losses in a row, was the longest lo losing streak since 1980 on Wall Street. And in seven out of those nine days, we had so-called distribution days. So volume on the S&P 500, volume in the Nasdaq went up day by day. Um, and so that is a sign actually that, um, that institutionals have been selling stocks and have been selling equities going into that election. And that is the big difference to those other finite dates that we had this year. If you compare it to Brexit, for example, um, we had strong equities, strong moves and strong trends into, into that um, referendum date. Now we have, um, up until yesterday, of course, we had a weak trend going into that. And if you look at the leaders, if you look at FANG stocks like Facebook and Amazon and Netflix, they have lost around $100 billion of market cap un until Friday. They were on par with the recovery, with the bounce that we had yesterday. But as Jesse Livermore said, the famous trader, if you can't make money in the leaders, you will have trouble making it in the market overall. So. It will be really, um, it might take some time to repair the technicals um, and some money managers might have gone cautious until the dust settles and we get a clearer picture of the trend that we have. When it comes to the DAX, yeah, yesterday was really a, 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 a beautiful day because everything went up. but. You have to put that recovery into the context of the strong volume correction that we had in the nine days before. And um, yeah, that might just need a little more time to repair. What we need is when we get the election results this night, we need some sort of post-Brexit type of move. We need a strong rebound. We need something. Um, to get money managers that have been going out of the market to re-enter it and go back to, uh, in, into long positions in equities. Unless that happens, there is a good chance that, this, um, that the market needs more time uh, really to, yeah, to, to repair the, the, the damage that has been uh, done in the charts. Um, when it comes to my experience, how should a trader go into that election day that we are going to, to have today and tomorrow with the results? I think that it's good that you should not anticipate the markets, but you should just interpret the markets, just read the charts and read the signals that the market gives you. You should not go ultra bearish because in the end you know we had those very very negative dates in the past year with Brexit we, we had so much negative news and the markets are just at an all-time high or near an all-time high with the FTSE 100 with the uh, S&P 500. The DAX is a little um, special situation it's 15 percent below its all-time high but all in all there is a high resiliency in the markets. And so even though, um, even if there should be any correction with Trump winning today, um, I, I don't really think that with the uh, Federal Reserve um, 
in the back with all the uh, ultra loose monetary policy that there will be really a ma major market crash and so some are going to think about entering the um, entering the market um, it might be that the s p 500 if you look at the august um, low this low should not be um, should not be broken so unless we break that we will still be in an uptrend in an uptrend move from a technical perspective and so that is really something that you should need uh, to find out when you look at the charts but what I want to see uh, want to say is that things can repair quickly yes but we need some post Brexit type of recovery post Brexit uh, Brexit type of move and that should be the positive scenario the other a scenario would be that um, the markets are reacting negatively then the August low in the S&P 500 would be very um, important um, the market should not break lower uh, below that support um, and the worst case scenario for today is clearly that there will be no no clear um, vote counts coming out um, if it's just unclear like it was between Al Gore and George W. Bush back in the year 2000 it took until mid-December until they know or until they knew that George W. Bush actually made it and so that situation would be the worst case outcome for that election so let's hope that just that is not happening